Hi, this is Lynn Suzek, and this is Faith Talk. Um, so, I was talking to my daughter, who is starting a nursing program, and you know, I, I sometimes sound like I don't like the medical field because they don't know stuff, they don't know a lot of stuff, and they they think they do so the thing is what I've been learning about healing is against medical belief a lot so that's why I talk the way I do sometimes but I was just you know because me living by faith and seeing things change is more and more you know outside of typical natural thinking so when I talk to somebody that's either learning from natural or medical thinking, you know, I find out how far away I am from that thinking now. So, um, but I have to stay in this place and get more into supernatural thinking and um, that's why I do these videos. So, um, I was just explaining to her about she remembered me one of my I have three daughters my youngest is going into nursing my oldest is a nurse and um, as they learn stuff you know it's different than what I'm saying in faith so I, I said remember when I had I had a, ba a bad burn and I have a blog about it it was called um, convincing myself of the truth and um, I had I've had about three um, thermal burns in my life that are third degree and I've talked about this before but one of the hardest things that I found when I was uh, believing for it to heal was I was trying to find if you're gonna look for something online you want to look for and expect healing right because we're um, believing for healing nothing but healing so Unfortunately, online for medical thing, things, they usually show how to tell if something's getting worse or it's infected. And uh, anyway, the story about the um, bad burns I've had, one was that I had gotten it, um, a thermal burn and it had gotten, gone through some stages. I didn't want to didn't want to go in right away you know I started praying over it and it was both both had a big bubble and it was uh, it was really bad but I believed it was gonna heal and so then I ended up going to the doctor a doctor downtown this is uh, Michigan and I'm gonna name the doctor not the doctor but the, the office I was downtown at Henry Ford um, Henry Ford Hospital to show them a few days later and um, just to get it you know looked at and say uh, you know it's healing and I'm just want to see what you think so some somebody there they said it was healing which was good and they were helping me then I saw the doctor and the doctor there said that's not gonna heal and it, it had turned black but I watched it scab up and that as it hit air, it started to get black. So I saw that it was a scab. You know, scabs can get black. I used to be a kid, um, run around and get a scab or a cut, a big cut on your knee, and then it scabs up, it gets brown, and sometimes looks black. So I figured it was still, he I just watched it healing. And um, you know, I did things that I thought I should do, but I was kind of like, looking for direction. I even looked online and all I could find was stages, you know, you, you want to look for, for healing. Look for stages of healing. You want to, you need to be able to vision, visualize and think about what healing looks like for this situation. And sometimes there is no good example. Maybe just in the Bible, like get up and walk you know um, that's sometimes hard to visualize but if if there is like 
something you can help convince yourself of you know what healing looks like it'll help okay the, by the laws of quantum physics if you can imagine and look at and expect it it's gonna happen for sure um, so our our whole expectancy changing and and feeding your expectancy for healing is what you need to do for everything so that that story ended up where the doctor there said I needed surgery and I said I don't think so and then I went and decided to get a second opinion I drove all the way to Ann Arbor and University of Michigan Ann Arbor Hospital went to the burn unit showed it to them they had a team of doctors come out and look at it I had it unwrapped and showed it to them and their expert advice was we're gonna ha submit you the hospital you need surgery on that that and then one of them said it'll be a miracle if that heals without surgery and I said well I got I, I, that's no problem but thank you and I was like why why did I come they probably thought why did she come she's not gonna listen to us you know well anyway I was all crying at the time because I was not expecting that kind of response I just wanted more direction on encouraging the healing process well they said you need to get admitted and I was like overwhelmed and then I, um, I went home and prayed about it got prayer from other people and decided it I felt peace about not doing surgery and that it would heal and then I unfortunately had a friend that would that also had a third degree burn once before and that she it healed and the Lord, you know, showed her what to do too. But anyway, it did heal. And uh, then I ended up having another burn, like thermal burn from stuff. Don't ask <laughs> why. But I've had um, third degree burns. They can heal. And you just encourage it, keep it clean, and watch it and believe. <laughs> they, they've healed up beautifully. Like this one, you can't even see. It was on my pinky all the way from here to here there's a picture of it on my blog and you can't you know there's there was actually a burn there before and I, it burned again and there's hardly any scar here but um, what I'm saying is that it was hard to find information about here are the stages of healing so I could say yeah it looks like it looks like that it looks like it's healing well that's one of my beefs with the medical field is their um, belief that some things don't heal and everything heals because Jesus paid for our healing everything gets better if you believe it will so if I were um, I need to change my belief that something won't get better that you know I was told it'll never heal and it's it's a lie everything heals so once you once you believe that because it's biblical and start expecting healing everything will get better nothing will get worse it's a changing your ability to expect it to heal and um, it will so um, finding ways to to uh, expect things to change for the better absolutely is the key um, and faith is like the same as quantum physics it's what you expect looking at it, something expecting it it changes um, so uh, there's a whole little a study already done by um, Annette Capps quantum faith she calls it and it be discovering that the laws of quantum physics scientifically describe faith and um, how we in our expectancy change to things physically so anyway it's all about Jesus paid and gave us gave us um, healing and we can expect it all the time so I hope that helps somehow
something that you're dealing with and every day we got to start looking for healing look for symptoms of healing it's getting better in the name of jesus amen <laughs>